New surveillance video tonight out of Lawrence. It shows the moment that a car was stolen with a toddler still inside. Fortunately, that girl was found safe, and today that man and the woman that you see there, accused in the crime, faced the judge. WBZ's Louisa Muller is live in Lawrence with more on this story tonight. Louisa. David, the video shows how quickly this happened. You can see the mom looking out a glass window at her car that's running. She turns around for less than one minute to look at her little son. She turns back and panics. Surveillance video shows how Monday night started so simply for one family. A little boy getting his hair cut at a Lawrence barber shop. His baby sister toddling around in the background until mom takes her to the car. But in the few short minutes that little Emma Booth, just shy of two, was in the running car outside, terror struck. You can see mom and the barbershop employees bolting outside. In the moments that it took her to enter that establishment before turning around, she found that her vehicle had been taken. This Methuen man, Adam Maxu, is now charged with kidnapping. Surveillance vid from another business on South Broadway shows the suspect walking up the street, stealing the Honda Pilot with Emma in the back. He told police he didn't know the baby was there. An Amber Alert was issued to find her. A search ensued yeah, with a large state police presence in the city of Lawrence. Then investigators say Max, who picked up his on and off again girlfriend, Jamie Garrity. After bringing Emma to Methuen, police say Max, who and Garrity brought her to Lawrence General Hospital. Her relieved grandmother spoke with WBZ there. Nobody wanted police in God, but, but when you leave it, everything in God and you believe it, the possible can happen. Investigators say Max Sue and Garrity fled police at speeds up to 110 miles per hour on 495, but were finally taken into custody in Berlin. Here's Max Sue's defense attorney. My client informs me, and he has authorized me to tell the court, that he suffers from severe substance abuse disorder. All the more reason to not mind. Prosecutors say that Maxu and Garrity both have lengthy court records. If they make bail, they'll have GPS monitoring devices and be ordered on home confinement. Live in Lawrence, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.